So we're here with the Remigo One electric outboard. It's uh, gonna be a new addition to our electric outboard lineup. We're excited about this motor. It's got a couple great features that might make you choose the Remigo over one of our other outboards. Uh, one of the, those features is that it's really just a solid motor. Barely have any plastic on it. Have an aluminum housing for the shaft. The battery is built in. Um, the tiller you use to steer, but you actually don't use it to control your speed. There's two buttons on the top of the motor here for forward and reverse. And then when you want to stop the motor, you just press both of them. So it'll be a little different using the motor, but we like that the buttons are here and not on the tiller because it just reduces the amount of cables, connections, and opportunities for, for things to fail. You've got the charging port right on top of the motor there, and then your kill switch right here. There's actually no on-off button. Putting the kill switch on powers the motor up. And the tiller can fold up, which locks the motor centered, which is nice for sailors. And if it wasn't on the mount here, we could fold it down, which makes it nice and easy to carry. So we're gonna go give it a try on the water. And in a couple of weeks, we'll have a full video where we go over all these features in depth. So just like ePropulsion's E-Lite, you've got a separate transom bracket for the Remigo One. We really like this feature because once you put this on the transom of your boat, it's super easy to take the motor on and off. And you don't have to deal with putting this on and off every time you wanna get the motor to or from your boat. So we're gonna lock that on like so. Take our motor, drop it right on. And then we've got our locking pin, put it on like that. Throw our kill switch on and we're ready to go. All right, so we're on the water with the Remigo One. Um, we've got our speed controls right here. So if we wanna go forward, we'll press this forward button once, and then every time we press it, we go a little bit faster. These green lights here indicate our state of charge, and then the blue lights indicate our power output. So right now, I think we're at two out of 10. If we keep going up, so we cruise right along there. If you want to slow down, just press the other button. If you want to stop, press both at once. And then if you want to use reverse, you just go that way. So we're going to go into forwards here, get up to max speed. One thing that we noticed right away is that this motor is definitely a little bit louder than the Torpedo Travel or the E-Propulsion Spirit. Uh, but in terms of power output, it's pretty similar. It's a one kilowatt motor, just like the Spirit 1.0 Plus, uh, just a thousand watts less than the Torpedo Travel S. Slow down a little bit there. And we tested a minute ago with uh, two of us relatively big guys in the dinghy here. We did about four and a half knots. So I'd expect that to be about five knots with just one person, which is pretty similar to the other one kilowatt electric outboards on the market. So uh, one thing that's kind of neat with this tiller, right? You can't control speed, it's all up on the top there. But if you want to lock the motor centered, you just pull that out, lift it up, and now the motor is locked in the middle. If you want to unlock your steering, pull up, pull this forwards, and then you can steer. Uh, another thing that we've noticed right off the bat here is that the steering is a lot more responsive than the other electric outboards that we've tried because the whole thing is shaped like a rudder. Right, so it's not just turning the prop, it's turning the whole motor, the whole shaft. You can see we can turn really tight here, probably tighter than we'd want to, want to most of the time at least. Uh, but that can be helpful, especially for sailors who need to make tight turns, getting in and out of marinas, things like that. Let's see if I just move that a little bit, we turn pretty quickly and pretty significantly. 